three words describing Castello. Um, there are no three words that could describe this very complex human being. I would describe Castello as a visionary leader who realizes all his dreams. I'd first say passionate. Courageous. Gregarious. Extremely energetic. Castello is tenacious. Very loyal friend. Uh, I think he's brilliant. Good guy. Good man. Good friend. To me, those three words are me, querido, compadre. Uh, he was born in Atascaderos, and uh, you know, Atascaderos is an interesting name in itself. It's a kind of, if you want to translate it, a place where people get stuck in the mud, but... <laughs> oh, Castelo and I go back a very long way. You might say we're a couple of the uh, old grizzled veterans of the health center movement, except Castelo looks so much better. <laughs> so here's this uh, young man from uh, East Los Angeles that shows up on the, you know, uh, Santa Barbara campus. I'd been there for two years and feeling a little isolated, so immediately, of course, we, we began to um, combine our energies and formed organizations on the campus and uh, did practical jokes on the administration and <laughs> did, a, did a lot. We, had a, we got a movement going and very, very proud of doing that. Costello was part of a group who took, who took over the University Center, a sit-in that lasted some 30 days. I was a student body officer and he came in and in his historically committed way, came in to say, uh, George, I'm taking over your office, you're out. And uh, for the next 30 days, he had my office and I was out. I think we were all struck with um, the idealism that he had at that point in time. We were a very small uh, free clinic that had just transitioned to its very first uh, federal grant as a community health center. So I think what we saw in Gostolo was his earnestness. He was really, um, very focused on his ability to be able to make this uh, a very worthwhile project. Through all the many years that he's been involved with Ultimate, he's taken them from a one clinic, uh, free barrio clinic uh, that my grandmother used to go to, to the entity that it is now, servicing approximately 50,000 families and employing 1,000 people. That's been his leadership, his stewardship all through. What I have thoroughly enjoyed in working side by side with Castelo is to defend our convictions on behalf of the most vulnerable residents of our community and in essence going to battle to advocate so that our patients do not lose their precious services and benefits. Ultimate Health Services has really been a trend setter and been ahead of the curve uh, on this issue of services to the elderly. And Costello has created a, really a model program for the country in providing uh, special services to the elderly adult Latino population. Through uh, his, um, his employees, through the organization, through his providers, been able to provide um, tremendous access to a part of the population that frankly um, medicine has sometimes ignored. His vision, his commanding leadership has really led to an expansion of Ultimed on various levels and he is there, uh, he is stable, he is a tight management operation, he's at an organization that is on the growth track and is always ready to assist us when there are new program monies coming in, new areas where we need to concentrate on health care. He's the kind of organization that you can give some, him some of these ideas and he puts them into a work, he brings other partners in, so he's a tremendous value to the community. I think he has brought to the community of Southern California not only quality health care in the numerous clinics, more than 20, that he now has opened for seniors, for indigent, uh, for the community at large, but it's beyond that. It's also he's a community leader. He's a man that's out there shouting, this system isn't working. We have to provide health care for all. And so he's not only doing that by building these clinics, these community-based clinics, but he's also changing public policy. And he's calling upon all of us to pay attention to the health needs of the large California community in all of its various phases, in its economic activities, and in its status. Well, you know, Castelo has been the kind of person that feels like all communities are related. Uh, we live together, we live in the same space, and we may have our differences, but we have also our likenesses. So community health centers uh, have been, I think, 
blessed by our idea of compadrasco. The role that Casalo provides as a leader, uh, as a committed leader, is one that is rare. And when you have somebody like that, um, it's golden.